Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with our two inch brush and a little bit of white, blue, and red. Not much paint. I'm going to come up here to the top and I'm going to drop in a little bit of water. Yeah, that's water at the top. We're going to do something kind of different today. Today we're not going to have any sky. We're going to do a seascape painting, but you're going to be kind of looking down and seeing just ocean. It's very close up. The wave's going to be huge. And we'll, we'll figure it all out. I'm just going to put some color up here for starters. Now, as you can see, I spent a few minutes just sketching in a basic idea. Here's our wave. I put a little dark here to represent where it's crashing. I already popped in a couple of dark areas. So now I'll load up our three quarter inch brush with a very soft, beautiful purple color. And the reason I want it purple is maybe it's just a little bit more soft and we could do this painting in like aqua blue colors, but today I think we're going to go with a beautiful soft color. It's up to you though. Paint it in whatever colors. You could do this same exact composition in sunset colors. That'd be pretty. There. I'm just going to work this back. I'm just highlighting a little bit of the background ocean. And let it fade off and get blurry toward the edges. A little bit in here too. Now I've changed to a one inch brush and I'll pick up a little bit of blue black. Maybe some brown into that. That'll give it a bit of a green cast. And some yellow and red. Ooh, I like that color. <laughs> just, just a nice soft ocean color. It's not too vibrant, but it's not black. That's about what I want. And I'm just going to brush this in here and there where I want some nice deep dark water. Now the only important thing here, really the, the most important thing, the only thing that really matters is that you limit the amount of paint on the canvas. Don't put too much, otherwise you won't be able to highlight this, so it'll just make a lot of mud. There. Now you'll notice it's not all just dark. I've come in here with a lot of white paint. Well, not a lot, a little bit of white paint, a little bit of yellow. And you see I've brightened areas up because if you have it all dark, well, it looks like a big black hole. Even when you go to, to put your highlights over it, it still doesn't quite look right. So it's nice to have some mid-tones in there. This is how you do it. Just add them right now so you don't have to worry about them. There. But not all of it. Some areas are perfectly dark, but not most areas. Now with some black and brown on a filbert brush, we're going to go ahead and block in our rocks. <laughs> Since we've seem to be doing a lot of blocking in. Let's cover the canvas and get it all done now. Then we can go back and pretty much just detail everything out. That's where the fun part is anyway. That's where you want to spend your time. Why spend a lot of time just throwing colors down that are going to be mostly covered up anyways? There. The only thing you really need to figure out is the perspective. This isn't easy, I've got to tell you. It took me a few minutes to kind of wrap my mind around what was going on here. Without a sky, it's very different from what I'm used to. So take your time and play with the angles until you get them the way that you want them. Maybe I'll tell you what, let's put a rock in. I don't have it here, but let's put a rock in somewhere like this. Sometimes you don't have, you don't have to sketch in everything you want to paint. Next, I'll load up our three quarter brush with a nice soft light green color. And I'm going to drop this right here in the eye of the wave. Look at that. See that? Just a little bit of this color. We can always blend it later. We can even add more colors later if we want to. White and stuff, but for now, that's about all we need. Run a little bit of this green back in here. And just the tiniest touch right here. See, you want to have that color in the background as well. That helps to tie the whole painting together with color. And of course, in the foreground as well. Just sort of pick out where you think there might be a bit of this transparent green. Ooh, we could do some right here. And some right here. Next, I'll load up our three quarter inch brush with some white. 
and just a little bit of yellow and red, but not much. Just enough to change the color enough. But you know, it's kind of interesting. There. I'm just gonna brush this right on the splash of the wave. And as you'll see, this is very, very subtle and soft and gentle. Because I don't wanna overdo it yet. We'll overdo it in a minute. What I mean is the highlight. I don't wanna build too much light up yet. We're gonna, we're gonna work this out in stages. Otherwise, you have a very uninteresting flat seascape. Because when just about the only thing in the painting that's the feature, which is this wave right here, everything else is kind of unimportant. Because we have our painting laid out that way, you need a lot of extra detail in the foam, which means you need more than one color. So there's our first color. And you'll repeat this process anywhere you want foam. There's some. Okay. Wipe that brush out really good. Load it up with some white. Then our yellow and red mix, but mostly white. A lot of paint on one side, not much on the other side. And put on our sparkling highlight right out here. The light's coming across like this. There. <laughs> kind of flick the edge and soften it. As long as it's not too slippery underneath. Now with a nice soft purple color on a three quarter inch brush, let's go ahead and work on some, well, some gentle foam areas down here. Now this foam is going to completely shape the water. This is the only opportunity you get to, to tell which way the, the water is rushing. Now because this is not a lake, you don't have to keep the water flat. I know sometimes you have a tendency to want to paint seascapes just totally flat. Well, when you're doing one this close, you can do, whoa, look at that. You can do big whooshes of water going in, in different directions. <laughs> whooshes, that's a good ocean word. There. And see, so you just kind of pick out areas and maybe see it's kind of sloping off this way and we'll hear it's sloping this way because the waves are rolling and rocking and doing all sorts of things. There. Pretty subtle for now and you can pick out ones with a slightly brighter color as you go. There. You're telling the whole story now down here. You're telling the audience exactly, exactly how this water is flowing. Now with some brown and white and a little bit of yellow on our three-quarter brush. <laughs> As you can see, we're really enjoying using this three-quarter brush today. I'm just going to drop on a bit of highlight to these rocks. Again, we'll, just like everything else, we'll work in stages, building it up from, from a subtle highlight to a bright highlight. There. Start small and then add to it. It looks so much more realistic that way. Small little strokes. There. Put a bit out on some of these rocks. Not too much. There. Isn't that pretty? Doesn't that really add to the overall painting? I love it when, when we start to get toward the end and you can just watch the whole thing come together. Sometimes all it takes is a few brush strokes to start seeing a a huge difference. Now we're just going to sparkle on a couple of extra highlights here to these rocks. This makes them look very, very sunlit and detailed and also pretty wet. There. <laughs> pretty fun. All right, darken the mix a bit. And see, well, it's already pretty dark there. Have a little bit kind of running like that. There's a rock here. It sticks in like that. Maybe a bit of a tiny one there. I like it. So you just keep working around with these colors and until you get the rocks the way you, you like them. You're going to need multiple highlights though. Here's a bright one. Not too much of the bright one. Ooh, yeah. Set it off with a little more white. There. 
Isn't that neat? Be quick and loose when you do this. The white there makes them look even more wet, like they're, they're sitting out here in the ocean. And we can also work on, on this one up here. Just a bit here and there, very, very gentle. Don't let it mix too much or it'll get muddy. And nobody wants a muddy rock. <laughs> there we go. Now I've thinned some paint down on this liner brush here. I'm just adding a few final crisp details. There, not too many, but mostly in the foreground here. This will make the seascape look more, well, a little bit more complete, more detailed, and it'll bring the foreground closer. Don't go overboard, just do a bit here and there. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brush line. And thanks for watching.